Hi, I'm Dave Keefe from Nutanix Services. Today I'll demonstrate leveraging existing process integrations to quickly build application blueprints using Nutanix Com. This demo is for customers who have developed custom automation on vRealize Orchestrator as part of their vRealize solution and who are interested in exploring Com. Here is a cloud management solution with vRealize automation on Nutanix. In this solution, the cloud management platform is VRA, and applications can be deployed on either vSphere or HV. This solution is applicable for VRA solutions on non-Nutanix platforms as well. The applications deployed use external integrations developed in vRealize Orchestrator, such as IPs provisioned via InfoBlox, deployment and configuration of F5 pools for load balancing, application components deployed via Chef, and ServiceNow ticket creation. Here is the cloud management solution based on COM, leveraging the external integrations developed in vRealize Orchestrator. In this demo, we demonstrate how a custom application blueprint created in vRealize Automation to provision on vSphere can be reproduced on Nutanix COM to provision the same application on AHV. This solution allows you to realize quicker business value as you are able to leverage some of your existing investments. Logging into the vRealize Automation UI, this is the VRA blueprint to deploy a three-tier web application. It has a web tier running Nginx, an app tier hosting a custom application developed in Node.js using MongoDB for the database tier. Both the web and app tier are load balanced using F5 load balancers. This blueprint is published as the Peaks application in the vRealize catalog and is available for cloud users to request. Here is a recently completed request for this application, and you can see the various tasks that have been executed. And this is the app that has been deployed on vSphere and is operational. Now delving under the hood, here we have the VRO workflows that are doing the external integrations in the application deployment. You see that there are workflows to create BIPs and InfoBlocks, create F5 virtual servers leveraging the BIPs from InfoBlocks, create F5 pools and add members to those pools, Chef integration to deploy Nginx and MongoDB to the provision servers, ServiceNow ticket creation, and all the workflows to tear down the deployment when it is no longer needed. Switching gears, let's look into how these workflows can be leveraged to quickly stand up an equivalent application on AHV using COM. Here's the COM blueprint to deploy the same app leveraging the existing VRO workflows. You can see how easy COM makes it to tie dependencies across the multiple tiers in this application and orchestrate this complex application deployment simply using drag and drop. To deploy the blueprint, select Launch. Provide a name for the deployment and click Create. Once the blueprint has launched, you will be automatically transitioned to the application view of the deployment. You can select either the Manage tab or the Audit tab to monitor the progress of the deployment. I am selecting the Manage tab with a visual representation of the blueprint, services, and the dependencies between the services, as well as a linear representation of the overall progress. All of the output from the deployment is viewable within the single interface. Here we can see the output from an individual task. This is the output generated to run and monitor the F5 VRO workflow. We can also view the script that was executed as part of this deployment task. VRO workflows can be invoked via REST, which is how we have integrated all the VRO workflows shown in this demo into this COM blueprint with ease. This script invokes the VRO workflow via the REST API to add a node to an existing F5 pool. As you can see, this is a standard Python script that can be written using the eScript module built into COM to allow for customization. Once the deployment has completed, you can see the very same app deployed here. It has leveraged the same VRO workflows that VRA leveraged. The exception here is that the application was deployed via COM and now has been deployed on AHV. Let's look at the Services tab to view the services that have been deployed. We see a set of images that represent the services. Services with multiple VMs are depicted with these nested images, and if we expand them, we can see each VM that has been deployed. Selecting an individual item, we see here on the right detailed information regarding the VM such as IP address, VM name, and additional information. One of the value propositions of COM is its ability to simplify application lifecycle management. We are able to perform pre-configured day two operations such as start, stop, and delete, as well as any custom actions that we have created. 
Here we see the create snapshot action that the application admin defined as part of the blueprint, which can be used by the user to create snapshots as needed. As with deployments, we can watch the progress here in the audit tab. We can drill down into the VM view, select one of the VMs that are part of our deployment, look at the details of the snapshot, clone it, recover, or delete it here. I hope this helps you understand how COM can be used for lifecycle management of applications and can be used to leverage external integrations such as with VRO. Thank you for taking the time to watch this demo. If you are interested in finding out more regarding this solution, please contact us at services at Nutanix.com.